<laughs> oh god, okay, yeah. <laughs> this. Hell no. Yeah. Okay, my friends, we are here at Universal Studios Hollywood for Halloween Horror Nights 2022. We're gonna show you inside all the houses. We're gonna film it all for you, show you the shows, show you the scare zones. I'm excited to compare Orlando's version versus Hollywood's version. It's six o'clock, lower lot has opened. So we have our wristbands. We're gonna go down the lower lot, hit three houses. Here we go, we're going down the lower lot. So we got the weekend, Universal Monsters, and Killer Clowns. And they have a photo op right here. It says scene number 13, take number six, roll number 66. Hollywood production, Universal Studios. Hollywood, Hollywood Horror Nights. Scene title, Never Go Alone. I don't think this catchphrase is gonna stick though. No, no, no. <laughs> First house tonight opens at 6.30. You're gonna have Universal Monsters, Legends Collide, current wait, 40 minute wait. Right, now, I believe this is the first time ever where they've done a two part story. So part one happened in Universal Orlando. We were in ancient Egypt, the Wolfman and Dracula were going after the mummy's amulet. <laughs> That, that one mummy was after you, Keith. Yes, I was terrified. Now, the one thing I do love about HH in Hollywood, which is different than Orlando, is they're a lot more in your face. They get like right up on you. It is always strange when you're like going through like backstage, right? I hear the soundtrack, we're getting closer to the killer clowns. And I see the tent. What in tarnation is going on here? Where's my dog? Where's my pooh bear? I'll tear this thing apart with my bare hands. This thing is wired! Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at this place. It smells like candy. This looks like a candy factory, but it... You're 
Ah, scare actor. Okay. I love the killer clown so much. <laughs> You get to walk through some of your favorite scenes from the movie. All right, now the weekend has a bar. It's going to be the weekend after I was nightmare bar. What do they have? So apparently, I've been sent over here to try the pizza fries. Are they better than ours? We shall see. Oh, that drink looks good. It was like a little syringe. All right, so you had to get a 21 and up wristband. But if you're wondering if you are under 21, can you still come up here and order food? The answer is yes. You just can't order any alcohol. You need the wristband to order alcohol. So they do check your ID. We watched somebody who had an international ID, got turned away. They also have this really cool photo op area. I love like the light bulbs. They spell out the weekend after hours nightmare bar. The mannequins here, they have blood all over their hands. This is like the little kitchen where they're cooking all the pizza fries back there. There's like blood splatter. Oh, they even have uh, blood on their feet. They, they must have murdered those pizza fries when they ate them. First to drink, we got the Blinding Light drinks. It's going to be cut water vodka, sour apple liqueur, fresh lime juice, and club soda. It's like a sour apple club soda. I don't know if it's for everyone, but if you like sour apple and you like a club soda drink, you'll probably like it. And then I got the After Hours Nightmare cut water tequila, raspberry puree with Peach a and lime juice syringe. That's good. And then we got pizza fries. Fries topped with marinara sauce, shredded mozzarella, and pepperoni. All right, let's see how these stack up. Okay, now that we've gotten out of the copywritten music uh, area, we can talk about everything. So first off, we'll talk about the Blinding Lights drink. It's like a sour club soda, seven out of 10. It's not bad, but I wouldn't order it again. Then we're gonna go to my drink. I got the After Hours Nightmare. It's nice and sweet. There's tequila, I love my tequila. It's a nice fruity drink. It went down very smooth. I would do like a nine out of 10 after tip and tax. It's like. $25 a drink. So hopefully I feel something very soon. Let's talk about the pizza fries. West Coast pizza fries, very different. It's cooked like a lasagna. Ours go through like an oven and they're like crispy and crunchy. These are like very soggy. There's a nice sauce that has some good oregano in it, but you're missing the sausage. Everything wasn't like crispy. It was like a lasagna pizza fry. So very different. I think we'll do like an eight out of 10 on the pizza fries. All right, the weekend house is currently a 75 minute wait. I'm excited to compare this to Orlando's. All right, they have the weekend's music videos playing.
different than ours. I really enjoyed their toad portion a lot better than ours. Ours is just like two little mutant toads jumping out. But the guy on like the stilts coming at you, that terrified me. I don't know if I got the new camera or not. But uh, this one was a lot gorier. I think ours was better set design, right? You can tell there's more of a budget in the Orlando one. But there's some pretty good scares. This one, the pacing was a little off. Ours was just kind of like a straight up party all the way through. This one was like kind of some blank hallways. Then you get like some good scenes and then some kind of like mediocre scenes. So it's hard because I liked a lot of stuff in there, but I also love ours. Now that we've done the three houses down the lower lot, we're gonna go up to the upper lot, see some of the scare zones. That's what I'm excited for. <laughs> Who are you sitting with right now, sweetheart? Friend. What's your name? I think it's Groot. So much fun right now. The characters do such a good job. Yes, okay. They do such a good job. All right, so ladies, what do you think of the Hollywood scare zone? So far, so good. The spaces are way scarier than ours. Like what like sleep paralysis looks like. Alright, the next house we're going to is Blum House. Put him in a wait, it's where Waterworld is. They have an ad for the Abracadabra Entertainment Supplies. There's some missing posters of kids. Dola, an ancient Aztec and dagger used in ritual sacrifice. Unseen, like a ghost, kills a every year. And it continues to this day. Water right, yeah. Oh god! Okay. And the change will come soon. Better money. Chapter 20. What? I can't wait to kill you. I want my body back. Come and get it. Stop 
Oh my god. That was great. The freaky part was 10 times better than ours, and I love the freaky section of the Blumhouse in there. I thought our black phone was a little better in telling a cohesive story, but I think I like the scare better than there. I really enjoyed that house a lot. I think it's a lot better than Orlando's. Okay, this is a brand new house for this year. This used to be where the permanent Walking Dead attraction was. They would open it seasonally, and then for HHN, I hated that house. But I have heard really good things about this new overlay that they did. They tore down walls and it looks a lot better. Apparently it's really scary. So, we are heading into Universal Horror Hotel. Okay, that was really fun. Um, the Walking Dead house was terrible. Honestly, there's maybe one good scare. That's uh, Maze felt expansive, felt like a variety of scares. All right, we're heading to Hogsmeade now. Heading off to Scarecrow the Reaping and Halloween. I can never go alone. Scarecrow the Reaping and Halloween are right next to each other. Halloween is currently a 50 minute wait. Oh, hey, Michael. Oh, 
Oh, oh God. Oh my God. Yeah. Michael. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> a lot of fun. I feel like there was a lot more actors in there than ours. Scarecrow in Orlando, again, was one of my favorite houses of all time. So I'm really, I have high, high expectations for this house. Hopefully it's as good as ours was back in the day. Okay. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Alright, so it's a different house than what it was for ours. Different layout, different design. We f***ing love Hollywood Horror Nights! Alright, now we're going to something that is exclusive only to Universal Studios Hollywood, and that is the Tear Tram. Because it's gonna be Nope, and it's gonna be the movie Us. So it's like the Jordan Peele Tear Tram. I feel like the universe of the Universal Studios Hollywood. Universal. Well, it's one specific clown in particular. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You see, 
You might recall back in 2016, the Universal Maglot was haunted by the sudden appearance of a mysterious clown that the internet came to call Hollywood Harry. Turns out Harry was a former actor named Harold Kapowitz. He hosted a children's TV show called Koodle's Carnival and also served as the original mascot for the Universal Studio Tour. After terrorizing this studio throughout 2016, Harry disappeared back into the Hollywood Hills and everything went quiet for a while. Then in 2018, Harry kidnapped a pair of tour guides and forced them to participate in a demented version of his kids TV show. You come to my party. You. Ooh. Wow, did you hear that folks? Harry's kindly invited you to his party. Get out. You need to be adopted, go to Secret Life of Pets. There's a family for you somewhere. Annual Halloween party, eat, drink, and be scary. The Bates Motel, October 31st. Prepare to be scared shirtless. <laughs> party, party, party. You got a little something uh, stuck in you. Feels so good. Oh. oh God, oh. Amazing. <laughs> this is my favorite part is going through the War of the World set right now. That is very unsettling. Oh look, all these poor little toddlers. They're all, they're all trapped in there for these evil spiders. Oh, they're just screaming and oh God, hello. <laughs> right, what do you think? We saw the airplane. From, From War of the World. world. Yeah. We walked through it. Yeah, you're on the set. 
I touched it. I touched the plane. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading into Jupiter's claim. They took the entire set from Nope that they filmed. This is the actual set from the movie. They packed it all up and put it here. Rewatching Nope for the second time, I really enjoyed the movie. If you were kind of iffy about the first view, watch it again, I promise. So Haywood's Hollywood Horses. Here we go. In the Jupiter's claim. Oh, you got a little something on your... Uh, Oh God, this is good. So good. <laughs> All the poor campers on the well. The little alien plushes. Oh my God, look. Right there on the corner. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> out. Get out. Get out. Right. They're all looking up at the sky right now. Oh god, okay, yeah. Oh, I loved it. That was a perfect collaboration between the two films. Really enjoyed that a lot. All the actors who were playing, you know, part of the tethered or creeping eerie uh, there. Every single scare actor, y'all did amazing. Got off the tram tour, uh, you scan the QR code and it, it's got a full website of like Jupiter's claim in like real life as if it's like a real amusement. They have a wonderful little photo op. They have this terrifying scarecrow. Happy hairy Halloween. All these pumpkins down here. Oh, look at these little creepy pumpkin creatures off to the side. And there's blood all over the street sign. And the uh, Hollywood sign is all bloody and rusted now. We're gonna hop into the gift shop real quick, see what different merchandise they have. All right, the Tear Tram has a bunch of different merchandise. $35, I think I'm gonna get this. Halloween Horizon 2022, all new terrifying experience featuring no presents, Tear Tram, see Jupiter's claim. For $18, they have the same design as a poster, and then they have a picture frame. I don't see a price on the picture frame, but I'm guessing probably over $20. Now, it's all pretty much the exact same stuff that we have, but for $34, they have this reversible bucket hat. I have not seen this in Orlando yet. And then on the inside, this is the reversible print. I got roped into the Star Lasso Experience. $37. Then for $9, they have a Nope magnet. This could be for the Terror Tram. And then on the back, you're gonna have that same wonderful design. You even have the cloud up there. $65. It's the same shirt that we have, $30. The only difference is they have the killer clowns in this corner. Everything else is the exact same. And then they have a replica of the little aliens from Nope. All right, for $11, they have, they have some killer clowns from outer space, Halloween Fortnite's pin. And then for $26, they have a Killer Clowns from Outer Space candle. This smells like straight up cotton candy. So for $40, they have this Killer Clowns long sleeve. And then on the back, it looks like an old vintage circus poster. Crescent Cove Theater presents Big Top Burger, Jumbo, Hilarious Whore, Slim. There's their little ship right there. This is a really cool, I just don't wear long sleeves because I live in Florida. Then for $12, they have a sticker sheet of Killer Clowns. I right, know the last house, La Llorona. Apparently this house will give me nightmares. Why a different name? La Llorona. Oh god, hey!
I love this. Here comes a giant horse person. <laughs> and now there's stage shows, the Jabberwocky show. You can buy a bunch of their swag, Jabberwocky uh, jerseys. They got some kind of cool hats. And then like a black t-shirt with that uh, same design. Here's the giant Jabberwocky mask. Another year of uh, Jabberwockies. They're incredibly talented performers. It's a fun show, right? Funny and dance, but it has nothing to do with Halloween or Halloween Horror Nights. I like how Universal Orlando's shows are kind of spooky and scary and edgy like Halloween. It's a great show, but it could be a show that you could watch any time of the year. I kind of want some, I don't know, maybe some cool spooky remixes, some thriller in there. Over here they have Killer Barbecue from Outer Space. And then over here they have JoJo's ice cream. And Allison loves her succulents. <laughs> I love it. The Little Boo does not exist here, but they have all the Little Boo merch here. They got the cups. They got the shirt. You don't even have these yet. They have the bags. They got the sign. They got the ornaments. They got version one of the hat. And they even have the sipper. 
One of my favorite things here is this neon of Universal Studios Hollywood. It's beautiful. I just love exiting out of City Walk and seeing all this neon. Look at Kong towering over all of us with his menacing red eyes. That is a wrap on Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. Let's go back to the office and uh, do my whole rundown. I can okay, so guys, we're back at home. Let's talk about Halloween Horror Nights 2022 at Hollywood. I had a lot of fun. Hollywood stepped up their game this year. The costume and effects were great. Huge shout out to Universal. Universal gave Alice and I tickets and fear passes to make sure we were able to go through all the houses. And I spotted John. He's like the head guy in charge of Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. I thanked him. I was like, dude, good job this year. You guys are killing it. Giving Orlando a run for its money. Because Hollywood used to just be kind of like that. Oh yeah, that's Hollywood HHN. But this year is really good. All the houses were very good. My list for the rundown. Let's do this. So last place, the weekend. We just didn't work as well as Orlando's did. And then Universal Monsters Legends Collide. This is part two of the story, but it was kind of confusing. I only got to go through once, right? So I feel like I missed a lot of the boo holes and it, it wasn't as good as Orlando's was, but there was more variety of monsters, which I enjoyed in Hollywood's because ours is just kind of like mummy, 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 mummy. And then Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I love the movie, but it's not in the best house there. It's it's more of just fun to like walk through the set and be like, oh, I'm in that scene. Oh, I'm in that scene. And then the next one is the Universal Horror Hotel. I thought it was really good. That was honestly the bottom of my list of like houses that I was excited to walk through. And it did not disappoint. Felt like a very different house than the Walking Dead maze was years in the past. They tore down walls, they added tons of different effects and scares, and I got scared a lot in that house. Then the next one is gonna be Whores of Blum House. I thought the freaky part was a lot stronger in this house. And in Orlando, the black phone part is stronger. A lot of great scares. It was just like a fun house to go through. And then Halloween. I thought this Halloween was a lot scarier than the one that we have in Orlando and it just worked a lot better with the, all the Michaels coming at you with knives and it, it really creeped you out going through. You didn't know which Michael was actually a dummy and which was an actual person with a knife. It was scary. Then it's going to be Scarecrow the Reaping for me. Scarecrow is one of my favorite houses from Orlando. It just wasn't a copy and paste of the house. I thought the sets and the characters designs were immaculate but it's not a 10 out of 10 house like the OG Scarecrow house was. But it's still a really cool house to go through. It feels very long and super immersive. And then number two, the Tear Tram. Alice and I had so much fun on the Tear Tram. We're huge fans of Jordan Peele's films, so it's really cool to kind of like walk through those sets. The tethered were creepy, and they're all standing there and watching you. It was perfect. Rewatching the video and editing it just does not do it justice for when you're actually there experiencing it. And I also enjoyed the classic kind of Halloween maze. My favorite part was the cats. I know you guys are going to start singing Angelical Cat. Seeing them pop over the fence with their glowing eyes, and it was just so, it was so creepy, and I love that costume. I love so many of these costumes. So the tear tram is up there. It was one of my favorite things that I did at Universal Studios Hollywood this year. And then my number one house was La Llorona. Creepy and terrified and the massive, oh, puppets. Oh my, they gave you nightmares to see those things in person. Deeply disturbing. But 10 out of 10 on that house. Let me know down in the comments if you've been to Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood yet. What was your ranking? Do you agree with my review? I think next year, I want to go two days because a lot of the houses I only got to go through once and I didn't have enough time to really enjoy the food and everything. Pizza fries are not the pizza fries from Orlando in Hollywood. I don't know what that recipe is. Get that on the Jabberwocky show. It's the exact same thing from last year, probably the year before that. It's fine. But it doesn't fit in with Halloween Horror Nights. I wish they had like Halloween music they were, they were like remixing and dancing to and adding like a spooky element to it. It was just a standard dance show. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It just takes a good hour out of your night and you can be off going to other houses and experiencing the tram tour multiple times and stuff like that. I did buy some merchandise, right? I got the Nope uh, Tear Tram shirt. I'm digging this thing. And then I got the little alien from Nope. Now, now my buddy Brent is a massive fan of the movie Nope. I actually got one for him. No, dude. Nope, it's the Nope Alien. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Thanks, brother. He will be going on the shelf to watch over everyone. Uh, drinks at Universal Studios Hollywood. We had a couple. Didn't feel anything. Maybe pre-game before. Try to find like an actual bar at City Walk and have drinks there before you get in there because the drinks that are offered within the theme park just aren't very strong. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. Family. We love the family. <laughs> Because I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things Halloween Horror Nights and Universal. I just say, I also met so many of you guys at Halloween Horror Nights. It was insane. So thank you so much for you know showing the love for the videos and everything. And I always have a blast talking with everyone. On that note, guys, I love you all, and I'll see y'all very soon. Hey, no, 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 no.